game losing streak for Seattle since May of 2022. Never lost five in a row last year. Altuve, as he likes to do, goes after the first pitch. He pops one up on it in foul territory. And Josh Rojas puts it away. One pitch, one out. Bottom part of the zone, not there for the pitchers. Out one towards the middle, backhanded by Polanco. Bounce throw just in time to get Bregman. Nice play by the Mariners' second baseman. Plate. You can see how much run there is, though, on that two-seamer. Jordan hits one into right field for a base hit, so the Astros have their first base runner of the day. Jordan Alvarez with a two-out single. Phew! <laughs> Ground ball towards Polanco's left. Takes his time and makes the throw to Luke Rayleigh, and that'll do it for the Astros. One hit, one left on. We head to the bottom of the first. J.P. Crawford has a career home run against Polanco, and like Altuve, he goes after the first pitch he sees and fouls one away. Pitch that final game before the All-Star break. Now coming out here in the first series out of the break, pitching on a Sunday after pitching a week ago as Mauricio Dubon makes his first. protect that hip and that knee. Oh two pitch is hit into left field. Robles continues to hit well to Mariners uniform. He's going to dig for second and he'll get in there sliding. The throw gets past Altuve but backed up by Singleton. Robles behind second base as they were getting loose and ready for this game. In the left field Dubon coming on. He'll make a diving catch Mauricio Dubon a quick throw to second. Getting tested early in his first start of the series, and Dubon can play anywhere. Now Cal Raleigh smokes one to center, but right there is Jake Myers, so the Mariners putting some good swings on Rennell. Like TK is saying, you've got a high on base percentage, high contact team in the Astros. This ball hit to left, initially coming in, and now drifting back is Dylan Moore to put it away, four out number one. And that has been a devastating pitch for him against lefties this year. Here's Jeremy Pena. Pena a slow ground ball towards third on two hops fielded by Rojas and Josh makes the play to get Pena for the second out between two very good center fielders who's going to have a quick pick pitch count inning here as he gets two first pitch outs on Pena and Myers to end the inning after Singleton flied out 2-2 two -two pitch is lined to Altuve and Jose makes the backhand catch in the air for out number one. Yeah, if you like stress, this is your series. <laughs> this ball hit really well into center field. Long run for Myers. He won't catch up with it. It'll bounce over the wall for an automatic double. Josh Rojas, good numbers against the Astros in his career. Now three for four against Renel Blanco lifetime. More than twice as many innings pitched after the second, but his walk total is lower as he walks Mitch Hanniger here. Now they'll be first and second with one out. He is already at 109 innings on the season. This one grounded towards Altuve. Could be two. To Pena for one. The turn. Not in time for the double play. Close play at first. Astros are going to look at it again, but rarely just beats the throw. Hit well in the left center field. Myers on the run. He will watch it bounce off the fence. This will score two. In to score rarely. Moore's heading to third. And he will go head first with a two RBI triple to nothing Seattle. Got him. Crawford strikes out to end the inning, but some damage done by Seattle with a double and then a two run triple by Dylan Moore. It's two nothing ends. 55% against the Astros. You're going to see Wu again with that fastball, but they've got velocity, they've got movement, they've got both of them, the four seam and two seam. Mauricio with a foul tip caught by Cal Raleigh back to back strikeouts for Wu. Swing and a miss Altuve goes down on strikes Wu strikes out the side getting cabbage Dubon and Altuve in order. Beltre did throughout his career finishing it off with the Texas Rangers. It's ball sky to center Jake Myers twisting around a couple of times finds the ball on the warning track. Victor Robles sends one to deep center field for the first out of the inning. A lot of Mariners fans will make the trek next year. This ball sent to center. Two swings, two pitches, and two putouts by Jake Myers. Fly balls. And he's unleashing throws, too. He's power shagging. 
This could be a great inning for Rennell. He had two first pitch swings and now a little tapper to Altuve. So Blanco after a tough second inning. Bregman skies one into right center field. Victor Robles and Julio Rodriguez will be the center fielder with the catch. He's a three and a third in this time with only one base runner allowed. And that oh base runner God. is Jordan Alvarez, who crushes one deep to right for get about it. You gotta be kidding me with that. Hit the facade of the upper deck. One of the longest shots in T Mobile history. The big man, Air Jordan, goes on a Long ride to right. Astro fans here are standing. The others are stunned. That hit the facade of the upper deck above the sweet level. He he, he destroyed Statcast with that. That that was optimal. That was 111.7 off the bat with a 32 degree launch angle. Just a majestic blast. They wanted this elevated. It was center cut, and Jordan puts everything into this. Watch the top of the screen. 2 2 to Yiner, grounded towards second. Polanco's been busy today as he makes the play for out number two. Yeah, just enjoy this visual. Watch the top of your screen. It comes in right in the middle of that group and hits the facade of the upper deck. My goodness. There is no way you're in. Now John Singleton the batter. This one sky to left. Long run for Dylan Moore. He's got time to get there, shielding his eyes and puts it away for the final out of the inning. But the Astros cut the Mariners lead in half. He he well got over that. Oh my. Yeah. That ball's well tagged, and that ball's gone after Jordan shot. It's not going to look as impressive, but it still counts for the same. A home run for Jorge Polanco, his second home run of the season against Blanco. And the Mariners regain their two run lead at three to one. Yeah, he got a hold of that slider. Again, some of these sliders that have been getting hit by Renel Blanco have been up out over the plate. When he's got that slider down, it's usually a pretty good pitch, creates soft contact, gets some swing and miss. But this slider just backs up and stays on that outer third, and Polanco jumped all over it. Mariners to continue to hit Rennell with extra base hits. That's all. Wow. Now one hopper to Singleton. He will flip it to Rennell covering, and Rojas retired for the first out. Innings, which he threw last year. Swing and a miss. Hanniger strikes out. Second strikeout for Blanco, second out of the inning. Long. That's why trying to get guys like Justin Verlander and Luis Garcia healthy and also potential trade is imperative. Blanco recovers from that leadoff home run against those Angels, who gave them a struggle right before the All Star break as Pena goes down on three pitches. Four strikeouts for Wu, the other three all coming in the third inning. And these are some must-win games against teams like you said, TK, you're supposed to beat. So two pitches popped up on the infield. Luke Raley right near the foul line puts it away. And Myers retired for the second out. Somebody had to break out the abacus. <laughs> that is a close pitch and a call third strike. So Wu continues to deal. Uh, a lot of guys that are going to be covering innings that they're not comfortable with for a season total is Blanco. Picks up a strikeout of Dylan Moore here. That's strikeout number three. And as far as opposing teams saying, I'm not going to let that superstar beat him. Rennell got that call at the bottom of the zone. That was a strike. J.P. Crawford doesn't like it, but man. <laughs> still. And you may look at trading an outfielder who's this ball picked around by Pena, but even if Jeremy makes that play cleanly, there's no chance he's going to throw out Robles deep in the hole. So Robles has another base hit. Runner on the go, and the throw is there. Altuve unable to make the tag. Little late getting there, and Altuve tried to make the tag as he jumped over Robles, who picks up his 11th steal of the year. He is 7 for 7 as a Mariner. Got him. Foul tip caught by Yiner Diaz. Five strikeouts for Nell, three in the inning. Through five. Ground ball. That's a fair ball. Dubon has himself a base hit. 
He is going to make the turn and head to second. The ball gets by Robles. Mauricio thinking about third, but Robles recovers in time. Remember, Victor in his time in Washington was strictly a center fielder. Broke his bat. That's going to be up the first baseline. Raleigh will try and underhand it. And everybody's safe. I'm not sure what Cal Raleigh did there. Field is back here with runners on the corners in a two-run game. Bregman lines one. Knocked down. And they're going to say no catch. And they're going to call that a double play. J.P. Crawford knocked it down. They're going to say that was a no catch double play. Heads up move by Crawford. He had control and then let it go. So the catch is made. No, nope. nope. He never did. No, I agree with you. I think that is a double play. No, nothing Altuve could do on that. No. On a home run so far today for 44. Hits this ball hard to center field. Back goes Julio, still going back near the wall. This ball's caught by Rodriguez. No, it falls out of his glove. Rodriguez down on the track. Jordan's going to go for third. He's going to have an RBI triple. We'll check on the status of Julio Rodriguez, and the outfielders are motioning to quickly get out to the outfield to check on their star center fielder. Oh, man. Player and their best hitter for the last few weeks. Watch the right foot lead the way at the bottom of the screen. Maybe it was that left foot that went in there and tore up the wall. Had it momentarily and just he did, huh? Jarred loose. No, that was an incredible play. Full speed. Right foot, left foot. He grabbed, I think, that right one when he hits the ground. Mm. Oh man. That was scary. Yeah, he grabbing that right ankle. What an incredible play just to get there. Jordan regaining the RBI lead with his two RBIs today, but Yiner tied him with that home run yesterday. They're not going to throw any more pitches to Yiner after the 2 0 count. They're going to go ahead and intentionally walk Diaz. 24. As he goes down on strikes here. This is the changeup to end the inning. The Astros strand two, but they get within one. <laughs> that one popped up. Bregman will have a play in foul territory. One away in the sixth. That ball hit hard. Polanco just sees Renel Blanco as well as any hitter. Just hitting a line drive his first time up at Altuve and a home run and a single here. That's now six hits allowed by Blanco. That ties his season high. In New York on June 28th. This one skied high in the air. Jake Myers and Chaz McCormick, the new left fielder, would be Chaz who puts it away. On the 100th pitch delivered by Renel Blanco for the second out of the sixth inning. There goes Polanco. The pitch is sent into center field on a base hit over the head of Altuve. Polanco will go first to third. Mitch Hanniger singles to center to put runners on the corners. Skies that one deep to right field. Trey Cabbage will be at the wall. And he can't make this one come back. Big three run home run for Luke Rayleigh. And the Mariners now lead this game by four. Had some big swings in the series. Luke Rayleigh gets himself one. Six runs has to feel like about 10 for these Seattle Mariner fans. It'll be a walk, so a single home run and walk so far. The first three batters to face Martinez. There's a sweeper. Rayleigh did a good job of staying back on this one, but was sitting on that outside corner. When that ball swept back to that outer third, Rayleigh got around it and barreled it. Ball flying out of here today. Runner on the go, the throw, and a tag by Pena. What a quick tag by the Astros shortstop getting Rayleigh on the head first slide. Yiner Diaz threw that to the third base side of the bag. Then Jake Myers and Trey Cabbage. 
Pena sends one high and deep to left field. Jeremy gets into one and gives the Astros a run right back. First pitch of the inning, and there's the first run allowed at home by Colin Snyder. It's a 6-3 game on Pena's eighth home run of the year. Pena making the adjustment after seeing him the first game of this series, gets a hanging sweeper and pummels it. 414-foot shot into the bullpen of the Seattle Mariners to get this inning going. What a great swing. Recognition, hands back, pulled him through nicely and shot that out of here in a big way. Comes back to get him on that sweeper. First out of the seventh. Hits that ball hard through the middle. That'll be a base hit. Well, the Astros have a base runner here with one out. Look oh, out. Man. That gets away from Ty France, and Trey Cabbage is going to get to second. So a pickoff throw goes awry, and Cabbage into scoring position. And he goes down on strikes here. Two strikeouts in the inning for Snyder, two outs. Never faced Altuve before in a regular season game. Altuve grounds one, backhanded nicely by Rojas. His throw in time to get Jose to end the inning. Well, Santos comes in and gets the final out on one pitch. Lidge in 05. There's a base hit in the left center field. Chaz McCormick will try to cut it off, and he will keep J.P. Crawford to a single. That is four consecutive batters that have reached base against Martinez in this game. That's a good pitch outside corner throws Robles who's down on three pitches Martinez picks up his first strikeout Ninth for the first time in his major league career Grounds this one to third Bregman will go to Altuve for one Jose will make the turn for the double play So Martinez works around the leadoff single with a strikeout and a double play They could use some yeah, I was gonna say we're gonna need some and it's usually come late in the game Bregman's hitting some tough luck today. He's yeah, hit the he ball has. hard a couple of times at J.P. Crawford. That was a short hop after. And he hits one down the line in right field. This could be the cycle. Jordan heading to second base. He is going to get there. 44 with his first career cycle with a double here in the eighth inning. And even the Mariner fans around the stadium standing up and clapping. Now Yiner smashes one off the pitcher and it's going to go to the second baseman Polanco his throw is in time to get Diaz bending over backwards near the mound is so now a runner on third with two outs and Chaz McCormick gets his second at bat and Chaz comes through with a base hit Astros get another single run they have scored four single runs in the last five innings it's now a six to four game good swing there by Chaz yeah it's got to feel good for Chaz Last time up is the tying run of the plate. Jeremy Pena pops one up. Looking through the sun is Victor Robles. Can he see it? Yes, he does. Had everybody in the Mariners scared, but he was able to find it just in time for the final out of the inning. That one sent to left field. Playable for Chaz McCormick. And there's one away in the inning. That shows have the bottom third of their order due up. Ball grounded towards first. Dubon will flip it to Dubin. Dubon to Dubin covering, and there's two away. Sharply hit, but Pena is there. Positioned perfectly, and that's a 1 2 3 eighth inning for Sean Dubin. Tough pitch at the knees, outside edge. Jake Myers down on strikes for the first out of the ninth. Cabbage down on strikes. Munoz has come in and picked up two strikeouts here in the ninth. And they watch their closer do his thing. First game out of the All-Star break for Munoz, the All-Star reliever, picks up three strikeouts in a perfect ninth inning. So the Mariners do take one out of three in this series with a 6-4 victory today, and they move into a virtual share of first place. The Astros will still be a percentage point ahead.
in the standings. But a good series overall for the Astros, but a loss today, 6-4 to four, the final score. The Astros postgame show presented by Whataburger will feature Vanessa Richardson and Brian Bogusevic as your host. Lauren Callender getting interviews in the clubhouse after this one. Astros drop this one in Seattle, 6-4 to four, postgame show next.